guys, I hope you had an excellent winter break as well as that. I hope you guys celebrated New Year's with a change. Now, obviously, I don't believe in the whole like New Year, New Me sort of thing. So, like, to be honest, that's a load of crap. But obviously, I hope you enjoyed the holidays all the same. Tomorrow, I go back to school. Sunday, today, is the day that I'm filming. Hopefully, I could get it up on YouTube tonight. Otherwise, it will have to be tomorrow, which will be a Monday. So, yeah. Okay, so, I have a little list that I just want to quickly run through with you guys. Please do let me know if I say so over 15 times, because I really need to work on that. Okay, number one, NCS Vlogs. Now, I'm having a lot of technical difficulties. As well as that, I've literally just started my A-levels. So, I'm kind of just juggling that at the moment. Because, like, you know, there's some stuff going on at six form And, like, I really, really want to do the editing. But I try to upload it and it's not working for some reason. But let me tell you now, week one is already edited and polished. So, that, hopefully by the end of the month, I should be able to upload it. If not, then if you guys could just be a little bit patient, that would really help. And yeah, that's NCS Vlogs. Oh, week two, please let me know, guys, whether you want to have both week two days and nights together, or if you want to separate them into week two day and week two night. Because in the night, I talk about like a lot of things that are going on from things like in the workshop to outside the workshop to on campus and a lot of stuff it's like they are quite deep and if I do decide to separate the day from the night then obviously one thing I would say for the night is that when I talk I talk so and I'm not just talking about me rambling when I talk I remain unfiltered like some of the stuff that are raised in those specific talks especially during night one night one is something that you guys really need to listen to because so I listened to it yesterday and I was just like wow I have some wisdom bottled up and you know that's just like a little piece of warning I guess so if you're someone that's really really sensitive to hear certain things then I personally would recommend you skip night one specifically and yes with that being said moving on to number two so Sati winter box oh my days it was such a success it happened on the 23rd of December last year oh I can now say last year because it was in 2018 but yes we did start at three but we did also finish earlier. We finished at around 4.30 because that was roughly the time that all the gifts finished. Now, a huge, massive, massive thank you and shout out to Anna because she actually came through and literally helped me carry one of the boxes around to people, making a difference. And just for that, I am so, 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 so grateful. Like, thank you so much, Anna. Also, thank you so much to everyone that kind of contributed in any way, like from gifts to notes to like, you know, kind of encouraging me to keep on going with the project, or at least the opening of the project. And 2019 is the year that you definitely want to be clued in to you, the year you want to be clued into what's going on with Safti, especially because, you know, Safti's a one man job. Yo, yo, I'm multi talented, like, I'm creative. Like, yo so there's gonna be some workshops as well as that hopefully i'll be doing some stand-up performances as well and maybe who knows we might have a little event i don't think so but you know keep your eyes peeled keep them open and yeah softy 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 like I was blessed with some gifts from a complete stranger during the event. So he came once, I tried to give him a gift. No, I tried to give him a note, sorry. And he said that he was in a rush, 
10 minutes later, I was about to go deeper into the high street and he came back and he just like, oh, what's this for? Sort of thing. And then obviously I talked to him about what stand up for the youth is about and why it is. And he was like really intrigued by it. And you know, this one thing led to another. He felt that he had to give me like some presents as a gift. I asked him why, because obviously if you know me, like I'm just naturally reluctant to like that sort of thing. And he said that something happened with his daughter and for some reason she couldn't take it and he had to fly back to Ireland and obviously for some reason he couldn't take it with him. And I just thought, you know what, let me give it to you because I really don't want to throw it in the bin either and sort of thing. And I'm just really grateful and humbled, like literally just thank God for that. And there was another person that I met towards the end, well, which was at the end. And he got a note that said, never give up on your dreams. Obviously, I do personally believe in that. Never do give up on your dreams, no matter what age, sex, race, disability, and everything else. It don't matter. It don't matter your circumstances. It don't matter nothing. Trust. Like, I'll tell you where I come from one day, and you will just be so, 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 so shocked. And this man told me his story, told me that he was going through a lot. And I started preaching to him a little bit. I gave him some, gave him some scriptures as well. And I also realized that he was also a man of faith. And obviously I felt so happy knowing that I helped someone, you know, realize their potential. Because like, this person was on the brink of losing it. And just like that one note, that one note is why Safdie is, okay? I can't put an age bracket to Safdie because if I tell you the original plan, versus what I've now decided, the majority of you are going to be so glad. Because if I'm honest, there is, Safdie has no age gap sort of thing. Like, I can do events for young people, I can also do events for seniors, I can also do events for like everybody, because there's some stuff in the world that Safdie has the potential to open up, in the sense, you know? But that is for a whole nother video eight minutes already let's move on number three numero tres new year goals if you are going to have a new year goal you know what any goal if you're going to have any goal new year's or not please 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 make sure it's within the time frame make sure that it is measurable make sure it's realistic but most importantly, make sure that it is something you can reach by that deadline. For example, New Year goal. One thing I want to do in 2019 is speak French. But if I say just speak French, it's very vague. And if it is pretty unrealistic. Like, oh, by the end of 2019, I'm going to speak French. No. How about by the end of 2019, I'm going to be a master of at least the beginner stage of speaking French. That is much more realistic, it is measurable, and it also has a deadline. Obviously that's not exactly how it's gonna go, but like, obviously speaking French is one thing I wanna do in 2019, but you have to also understand stuff like that. It's not something that's just like automatic, you know? Like you really have to have a level of persistence and determination to actually go through with whatever it is you want to do especially if it's based on an idea so let's say you're a businessman you think this really really cool idea if you're doubting yourself if you're worried about what someone else is going to say then that idea is going to crumble go down to waste and not long later you'll see someone else that has the exact same idea but instead they choose to shine it out and you'll be thinking to myself oh if only i'd have you know spoken up about it when i had the time you know so new year goals or any goals have determination be resilient have a deadline most importantly make sure that it is realistic and is measurable okay okay number four untitled part two so to everyone that is subscribing and maybe some of you guys that have not yet subscribed i recommend you do you guys will know that I am a self-published author. I have already got part one of Untitled, which is 
going to be a diary entry series, hence the term part one. This year, part two is going to come out. I am not telling you when until it is closer to the date. But one thing you are going to know about is that there are going to be more paintings, drawings, as well as that I'm going to fit in some poetry and, and a few commentaries as well. So if you are someone that can do either of the three, now bear in mind if you want to have do a commentary about it or about me, whether you know me or not that well sort of thing, First of all, I would seriously recommend that you read part one, purchase it and read it first. So I think it'll be easier for you. Otherwise, if not, you have to go through like a whole series of stuff just to be able to say anything. But yeah, if you are interested in making any contribution within the three disciplines or something else that you want to, you know, help out with, then, you know, let me know. And yes, I am so excited for this next part because within the next few days I'm going to start drafting it and stuff and ah, uh, it's just, you know, God has been so great. Number, okay, what number is it? One, two, three, four, five. Number five. Now, I want to talk about the rest of the stuff that's going to happen during 2019. 12 minutes okay i'm gonna rush this first of all i'm hoping to have more collabs and talks with other people have discussions because i am passionate about learning i don't believe that education is only found in school and you know just know that the topics are going to be relevant there might be a few jokes in it but overall every issue and topic raised are going to be relevant are going to be important as well as this i am going to have like you know self talks like talks with myself and the phone slash camera if I get one and as well as that I want to have more Christ-like talks because obviously I'm a believer I'm a girl of faith I believe in edifying the church and letting fellow Christians and non-Christians know what's up really and obviously because I am going to have a mixture I wouldn't really call myself a Christian vlogger just you know because I like to mix it up a bit I don't like the whole labeling thing so i might have videos for christians videos specifically for non-christians and maybe one or two of like other faiths and things and yeah that is going to be grand as well as that there'll be some vlogs vlogs i mean should i do a day in school vlog because like i sound like a really funny person on camera but <laughs> yo if i am going to do an in school day vlog just I best make sure it's not on Wednesday because we basically just I'll basically just be in one room throughout the whole day in period five just in Richmond and just like it's boring most of the time. <clears throat> but yeah, with everything being said, please I hope you do take one or two things away. Like especially with the New Year's resolution or goals sort of thing. And yes, enjoy this next time of school. I have my first mock exam in two days or on Tuesday. Make it sound easier. And yeah, thank you guys for listening. If you've not already, make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment down below if you want anything. And yeah, bye bye.